A late night takedown, a suspect goes speeding down a South Shore Highway, hits a cruiser, ditches his car, then manages to steal a police cruiser and take off again. Police eventually caught up with that man. But not until after the bizarre chase. It stretched from Hanson into Halifax to Pembroke and finally to Plimpton, where the suspect was finally taken into custody. But even that was a battle. WBZ's Anna Myler has been following this story. She has the latest. Kate, that wild chase came to an end here at the Plimpton Harbor Line, where police say the suspect refused to get out of the stolen cruiser, leading to a standoff. A wild chase ends with officers using bean bags to shoot out the windows of a Halifax police cruiser early Thursday morning. They say this man, Daniel Egan, stole the police vehicle and once they caught up with him, he refused to get out. Well, the biggest concern we had was uh, if, if he could figure out uh, how to get access to the weapons in the, in the vehicle, uh, hence the standoff. Um, he was not able to. Um, the weapons were properly secured. And uh, we're, we're grateful for that. The chaos started when an officer saw Egan speed through a stop sign. Police tried to pull him over, but say the 36 year old Plymouth man took off. Tried to run one of the Hanson cruisers off the road. Um, that cruiser sustained minor damage. And Officers used stop sticks to blow out the tires of the suspect Chevy Malibu. But when police tried to arrest him, he managed to escape. And got into a marked cruiser. Uh, he then fled in the marked cruiser. Several police agencies jumped into action using stop sticks to bring the stolen cruiser to a halt. To be able to use two sets of stop sticks on two different vehicles in one pursuit is uh, successfully is pretty pretty amazing. Even with nowhere to go, police say Egan refused to cooperate, staying put inside the cruiser. That's when officers broke the windows, but then another battle. Did not give up right away and we had to use a police canine to capture him. And police say they're still trying to figure out why Egan fled from them in the first place. Egan is being treated at Beth Israel in Boston because the police dog bit his hand. He's being held on $25,000 cash bail. Reporting live on a Myler, WBZ News.